Hey, it's Clary, and today I'll be showing you how to create a lobby on your Minecraft server. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to do this using the bungee cord method. All you have to do for this is head to server.pro and into your VPS server. As you can see here, I already have a service. That's my survival Minecraft world, but I'm also going to need to create a lobby to go with it. For that, we'll also need a proxy. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new service. At the top, make sure that the type is set to bungee cord. I'm also going to rename the service to proxy so it's easier to identify later. That shouldn't take too long to finalize and shortly it'll all be done. After, create another service. Set that to paper and name it lobby so it's easier to identify as well. It's crucial that all worlds apart from the proxy are set to paper. Now that we've got the servers we need, we'll need to configure Bungie. For this, what you need to do is head back to the Bungie code server we set up first, head to files and then config.yml. First step is to locate the setting IP forward and set that value to true. This is important as this is what will allow Bungie to work. Then make sure to save those changes. After, head back to the file again and scroll down to locate servers. This is where we'll list the servers we want to add. What you can do to make it easier for yourself is also copy this block of text and paste it below exactly the way it looks here. Depending on how many servers you're going to set up, I've created two so I'll be pasting it one more time. Now you want to change the name of each of them to correspond to the services you've created. I've done that and now next to address we'll just be adjusting each port to make sure it's connecting to the right server. I'll firstly be heading into my lobby server and then heading to configuration. Under ports make sure you copy the third port as that's the one we're going to need to add to the configuration. Go back to the file in the bungee code service and paste the port we just copied right next to the first service heading. Then do the same for the second server and copy and paste that port again into the config file. Please keep in mind all servers you have listed here should have different ports in order to work correctly. If you've done this, it means you've now set up the network. However, we still need to force players to join the lobby itself. Locate priorities under listeners and ensure the name there is the name of your lobby or the server you want players to be automatically connected to. Make sure the port is the same as the actual server and then make sure you set force default server under listeners to true. After that's done, make sure to press save file and reset the server for all those changes to take effect. What you have to do then is copy the host name and that's it. Head into Minecraft and enter that host name to enter. It should then be forwarded to the lobby we just created. You can then also use the command slash server to be able to travel to any other servers you have set up on your network. Now I'll be showing you the multiverse method on how to create a lobby for your server. Firstly, you'll of course need to install the plugin. We have a tutorial on how to do this, so we'll leave that in the description. Once you've restarted the server and the plugin's installed, all you have to do is copy your hostname and then head into the server. Once you're in, you're just going to have to enter a couple commands. Firstly, enter slash mv create and then the world name and world type. I'm going to be creating a lobby with the world type normal. So I'll just be entering lobby and then normal and pressing enter to generate an overworld with the name lobby. It will take a little bit and then I'll say creation is complete. You can create other worlds as well if you'd like by entering the same command. The world types you can get are normal, nether, end and normal t flat. To teleport between the different worlds we've just created, you can use the command slash mvtp, the player name and the world name. Replace that with your world name and then ta-da, you should be transported to it. As you can see, I've successfully transported to my lobby. Now, in whatever world you're in, you may want to set a spawn point in to keep track of things. If you're wanting to do that, simply enter the following command, slash mv set spawn. Then, if you go ahead and teleport around and teleport back to that world, your spawn point will be at the point you've set on all worlds. If you'd like to set specific game rules for each world, you can do that by entering the command slash mv game rule, the rule and the value, and then the world name you want to add that to. Lastly, if you're wanting to delete a world from the server, you can use the command slash mv unload and then the world name. There are many other features this plugin provides, so we recommend checking out the plugins wiki, which we'll leave in the description. I hope I was able to assist you in setting up your server. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys!